Hey, bro, I didn't see you there. Oh, I'm just here cuddling up to my new freaking guitar, man. It's great. So anyways, this is my new guitar, all right? It's, uh, it's time to be out with the old, in with the new, all right? That other guitar, that piece of trash, I burned it in my backyard. I said, I'm done with that crap. Just kidding. Um, so this guitar was made by my wonderful friend, Evan Kingma. And let me just tell you a little, sit back, I'm going to tell you a little tale. A little tale about how this puppy was made, all right? So anyways, this dude hits me up on Instagram and he's like, I make guitars. Um, I really like your stuff. Have you ever thought about having a guitar made for you? And I was like, I've thought about it, but I've never done it before. To tell you the truth, I was actually quite skeptical. I was like, I don't want no scrub making me a guitar. What if it sucks? What if it's like a Tonka, Tonka, Tyco? What am I trying to say? What if it's like a Fisher Price guitar? Dog, I don't want none of that. I'm a grown ass man. And uh, so I looked the dude up, right? I did a little did a little spy kids on him. And uh, I, I come to find that he's a Canadian who, uh, who uh, moved to Spain to make guitars. And he'd only been making guitars for about you know two, three years, something like that. But he was, he was apprenticing for this, uh, this master guitar maker, this guy, Stephen Hill. Um, so I was like, you know what? I like this, this feels right. So I was like, you know what, dude? Make that dang guitar. You go ahead and make that guitar, buddy. This one right here. So he starts making it, man. He starts sending me all these pictures and stuff. It's like, boom, bam. It's like every week, bing, bang, new picture, man. Working on rosettes, boom. Messing with wood, bam. Cutting stuff, blammo. Headstock done. It was sweet, dude. There's the whole process of like this thing being made um, and him like sending me these pictures of the process. It was It was really, really cool. So anyways, eventually, jump ahead, I get the guitar, right? Just a just big old brown box. That's usually what you ship things in. And uh, I open that puppy up. I, I, I pull the case out, you know, because it's in a case. It's in a really nice case. Um, and, and I whip it out. And oh, man, dude. I just like in the case, I just went bring. And I was like, I was like, yes, dude. I was like, yes, bro. Yes. That's what I want. I almost started crying. I'm not I'm not even joking. I actually did I was I almost cried, okay? This is, I got a little juicy, okay? But I I know. <laughs> dude. I'm not going to cry. Who do you think I am, dude? I'm not going to cry, you know, because of a dumb old dumb old guitar. This thing is really great. So like I I am just so thrilled with this thing. I want to talk a little bit about the thing, okay? So the the top of it is spruce. Um, the, my other guitar is made of cedar. Spruce has, um, I don't know, they say it's like a little more high-endy, a little more bell-like or crystally or something. I know what they mean. Uh, it's hard to describe sound with words for sure. But uh, yeah, so the top is spruce. It's got a really cool tone to it. Um, the back and sides are ziricote. Ziricote, I think is how you say it. Looks like Xeracote, you know, some dank ass alien wood from planet Zer Zerbos. Um, the um, it's got a sick scoop cutaway. You see this little divot here? Not that full cutaway. No, dude, we don't mess with full on cutaways. We only cut the amount of wood out that we need to cut out. You know what I'm saying, dog? So uh, this al allows you to get up to the uh, the higher frets um, with a little bit more ease. In fact, it was funny when he was sending me pictures of him cutting this out because literally he finished the whole guitar and then he has to go with like a like a freaking hacksaw and just hack away at like this beaut like this beautiful curve. Imagine just like finishing this, you know, like spending like 120 hours like making a guitar and then like you just you gotta just start hacking away at it. Um, but it turned out freaking amazing. Um, the headstock, I really really like this. It's like kind of asymmetrical. You see that? There's like a curve here, but hey man, you think there's a curve here? No, two curves, you know what I'm saying? Two of them, like a little uh, little little spine, little half pipe spine. I used to skateboard, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, whatever. Um, dank, dank uh, uh, knobs, I forget what these called? String knobs, that's what they're called. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, they're so smooth, man, they're like 
They're like, straight up butter, dog. Can't believe it's not butter. Can't believe it's knobs and not butter. Um, but the main thing that I love about this guitar is just like the the way it sounds, the way it sounded initial, initially, and the way it, it the sound keeps getting better. I'm I know people say like, oh, you gotta wait for the the guitar to open up. I was I was skeptical about that. I was like, I feel like people are just making that up. No, no, not at all. This thing is so dope and like. At the high end, it literally it just keeps getting better. It's freaking amazing. I'm glad I waited a bit to do this video. Um, I would have been like super hyped to do it immediately, but now, dude, I'm just like, it's just, it's so freaking rad. Um, it like, I feel like it's really dynamic, so I can play really, really quietly, and there's like more. I have like a, I got like more room to sort of grow. I feel like I can also, I can, I can feel, I can hear each note in a chord like really, really evenly. It's so freaking rad, man. I absolutely love it. Um, dudes, if you're thinking about having a custom guitar made, look no further, okay? I want you to hit up my boy, Evan Kingma. I'm going to put a link to his website down below in the description. Check it out. We're gonna do a Q and A really soon with questions that were asked by uh, certain patrons um, on my Patreon page. Um, a bunch of people asked like about guitars, guitar making. I'm gonna do a Skype call or maybe even do something in person with Evan. Well, we're not really positive. We haven't exactly worked it out, but uh, but yeah, if you're thinking about having a guitar made, go to Evan's website. Hit this guy up. Having have, have him make you a guitar. You will. I promise you. You will. You will be beyond satisfied with what you get this thing is an absolute beast and again it just keeps getting better so yo check that boy out get yourself a guitar get a freaking scoop actually don't get a scoop i want to be the i want to be the only person with a scoop okay so go ahead get a guitar made by evan but don't get a scoop you know because this is my scoop i'm a scooby boy oh look at that look up see how well it fits it's the exact i actually sent evan um a 3d print an inverse 3D print of my chin so that it would fit just perfectly. Fits my beard just right. All right, guys. You know, I'm going to bid you adieu. Guys, go ahead and listen. I'm going to go ahead and say what I always say. Guys, if you want to play this song on your guitar, all you have to do is go to my Patreon page. <laughs> just kidding, bros. Peace out.